All right, it appears teams are ready for this first game of the grand finals of SL whatever the fuck number it is now. 98, let's say. Um, things t t two things to note. XX2 on uh, <laughs> Heavy Armor AI and Bolin and Sanus, of course, both playing the ultra chill make people crash into me randa spam d style oh god and as we see when the random makes a mistake it's usually like that he just waits too long and gets killed behind enemy lines that's probably it's probably how most goals are gonna go for both teams either ballin fucks up or sanis fucks up and then we have an easy go but it looks now like but right now, it looks like uh, Velix are going to win this handily, because they have just pressured the entire time. See, they're just like tossing the ball every which way, but it doesn't really matter, because there's just too much pressure from the right side right now. But counters always work. No matter how much pressure you're in, if you can just... Oh my god! If you can just make them overextend and then uh, jump out with the ball, you've got yourself... Okay, wow. That's not good. You can usually score. So I think that's going to be Ball's way out of the game. Unless they actually, I don't know, fucking find a way to put pressure themselves. Oh my god. Alright, I was worried that there's going to be wall lag there, but it looks like we're fine. Alright, that was... No bueno. Yep, just pressure down. Just toss the ball to the left and keep up the pressure. That's the strategy, clearly. No much to say about this. Let's see if Ballin can turn up. Let's see if he can download this right team. Nope, doesn't look like it. But! Oh. X62 stays alive. FH does a good job, actually, of smoking down Santa's there. It's probably the thing FH is the best at, just doing that shit. Oh my god, dude. The fucking... The fucking chill ass. He just saunters through top. Holy fuck. And he always gets the max amount of loopy rockets into the enemy Randa. Most people have trouble killing uh, Santa's, but FH does a good job. No matter who the opposition is. Unfortunately, just because you can kill Sanus doesn't mean you're going to win when the lineup looks like this. Oh boy, yeah. Both Gruden and Hollywood are just down, trying... They're, they're, they're too concerned about the pressure, because it's, it's like constant. So they're trying to be down there to relieve it, but they shouldn't both be down there, because, you know... That kind of shit happens. Some guy just goes top and scores completely freely. Ball and gets tossed the fuck around. Yeah, it doesn't matter how long he waits. No, you gotta find some other way. Both XX2 and AI, the randos on the right side, are... Oh, here we go. There we go. Some morale, some morale for the left side. Uh, both AI and XX2 traditionally play... You know, for lack of a better word, they play like whores. AI will have like 27-3 as his ratio. Um, XX2 not so much, at least not anymore. He won't like just overtly whore. He'll kind of... He'll kind of... Play... Like... I don't know what to call it, dude. Play the flow of the game. Stemming the tides. Sanus is not getting a lot of time to do anything. He's usually the player to look out for in, in games. He's usually holding the ball constantly, right? It's like 60-40 ball possession just because Sanus is in the game. But... Ball are playing really fast. And they're all like flanking him and shit. And he's not really getting a foothold. FH is gonna chillax with this ball for sure. Oh, here we go. Waiting to get the shield. 
Oh my god, could this work? Oh, unfortunate. I don't even think that's tech that's possible to score. Because if you fucking shoot the ball, he'll he'll lag catch it. Like even though he's dead on your screen, he'll catch it for like the last split second he was alive. It's one of those fucking catch twenty two moments. If H doing kind of well there, he's holding the ball long enough for everyone to fucking get wrecked on the right side, see? But then he passes to Ballin at a sort of awkward moment. He waits a little too long. And Ballin has to take a hit to catch the ball. It's one of those things. Where you're stuck in that mode of waiting. It's like the vanishing syndrome. When you're stuck in... Oh my god. I cannot believe he missed that. That was completely open. That was not a hard angle. And FH misses that even though he's mouse. That's kind of shitty too. That's probably even more embarrassing. The FH miss right there. But whatever. We're not going to judge. Ball are getting... Uh, they are getting more pressure now. Like I said. That's, well, that's one of their ways out of the game. Ball is even looking somehow a little more convincing now. Pressure wise. All of a sudden. As you see, the balls are slightly and the kills are slightly in Ball's favor, but whatever. That usually doesn't matter. A lot of kills are just incidental. Yeah, and they... Okay. I don't know what that was. Maybe he thought Ballin was gonna catch it, so he's like, fuck it. But either way, you cannot let Sanus just take the top like that. Because that's impossible to defend. Just like mathematically. And that's a very costly fucking little s m s mini clear there. It looks so insignificant, but it's such a big deal what just happened. They're forced to play on the defensive now for so long. They're still in the defensive because of that. And as you can see, when you play on the defensive too long, someone gets a power up. And when someone gets a power up, you're straight fucked. Okay, that's who. If that might have been a little closer, he could have just tossed ZZ into the fucking goal and he would have, he would have lost. Alright, here we go. Stan is going to try to chill, but no dice. See, again, like I said, so much flanking pressure. Oh my god, he gets it up. So much flanking pressure, but his team just does the job for him. Yeah. Man, 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 man. <laughs> How many times have we seen that? Ballin just d fucking ding on that rock and then Sanis just shoots a missile up. How is he getting missiles so many times? That's crazy. By the way, missile, the most OP fucking power up for that kind of shit. Fuck, only noobs and beginners think fucking, you know, shields. Oh my god, shields are so OP. Walls are so OP. I mean, yes, in certain situations, but the missile is the only power up you can't really fucking avoid if someone good shoots it at you. A wall you can always avoid. If you just assume everyone has a wall, there's no reason you should ever get wall. Especially as a random. You just press D and you're home free. Remember that, kids. Can Brutal do this? No, no, no. He shoots way too fast. He had a good thing going, though. But he kind of tunnel visioned on the whole knocking him away thing. He thought, oh, I knocked him back. Now I can score. But no, 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 dude. You got to knock him back and then chill because there are more people there. All right. All right. All right. FH and Ballin try to do something. Ah, uh, eh, no. I feel like Ballin expected FH to just give him the ball, but FH never does that. FH will hold the ball for ages and then try to make a play later. So Ballin should have just, like, uh, you know, try to work with that by moving away. Like now, like now, like now. You should not go in the same lane FH is. Yeah, yeah, that's good. See, Ballin just sort of stands in front of him. They're not on the same page. Like, neither of them is really wrong. Either play can work. But... Depending on the game, but the point is they have to do the same thing at least. We're not really seeing anything like that from Velix. Oh my god, yeah. No, we're not really seeing anything like that from Velix. From start to end, they just kind of shot the ball to the left and then fucking killed into them. Just like warp into them, fucking recoilless into them. And they just never fucking could never recoup. They could never recoup. But, I will say, that's a very, uh... There are a lot of neutral maps in this altitude game, obviously, like Skylands and Cliff and uh, Plane Park or whatever. Maps that aren't really tilted in any specific favor. But there are... But... 
Ball could pick a map that could that uh, really fucks with Velix because they're very like I said if they're playing that very specifically if they're not giving if they can find a map where Sanders has to find space to slow the game down which he, it didn't seem like he was able to then maybe they can win maybe obviously from this game we're gonna have to predict that Ball wins I mean uh, that Velix wins the entire series they're looking stronger individually and also looking they're all on the same page of just that's the sound of their strategy. Anyway, we'll see fucking game two. This is the first best of seven, obviously. First game of that. 